Hello. Get this all locked in. There I am. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my Thanksgiving Facebook Live. Excited to connect with you tonight. <clears throat> I'm going to just do a little mic check here and make sure this is working. Yep. Make sure there isn't too much of a lag here. That looks like it's going well. Come on in, guys, as you pop on, say hi. Um, happy Thanksgiving. Hi, Sarah. Welcome. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you all have bellies full of wonderful food and that you had a wonderful day today. Um, I did not have um, Thanksgiving with my family this year because of um, COVID stuff going on. But I did get a wonderful Thanksgiving surprise. Um, I found out that my husband is on his way home from hunting early. Um, so he called me a little bit ago and told me he was on his way home, which surprised me. And, oh, that was just so exciting. Hi, Robin. Hi, Jean. Welcome. Happy Thanksgiving, ladies. Glad you could join me tonight. I'm really excited to connect with you all. My Thanksgiving has looked so different this year than it usually does. I'm typically home watching Christmas movies right now with my family after enjoying a big dinner. <clears throat> and um, since I can't be there connecting with them, I thought I would come here and connect with my crafty friends. Hi, Joanne. Welcome. I'm so glad that all of you could join me. For those of you who are new to my page and new to watching my videos, my name is Rose Grunewald. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up, which I absolutely love. I love being your creative coach. And I'm stamping with you tonight here in my stamping studio in New Holstein, Wisconsin. Um, this stamping studio also doubles as my work from home space. I've got all my work from home stuff in that corner. And to keep it bright and happy, you can see behind me here, I have some uh, pictures from my niece and some bright paintings on the wall, and um, this is just my happy place. So I'm glad you could join me here tonight. Hi, Karen. Welcome. Oh, Jean said she had a very quiet Thanksgiving. I really did too, and it was very low-key. Um, I was lucky enough to find... I found a local supper club here who was doing um, carry out dinners. And so I had kind of a late lunch, early dinner with them and the food was delicious. I was watching Hallmark movies and actually, no, I wasn't watching Hallmark movies tonight. I was watching Harry Potter. Um, I actually have Harry Potter going on in the background here. If you can see the light from my TV, something about the Harry Potter movies always makes me feel really Christmassy and it's a great kickoff to the holiday season for me. So if any of you are Harry Potter fans, um, just raise your hand or something in the comments. I wanna know that I'm not alone. I would love to hear about what your Thanksgiving plans um, were today or what you did uh, to celebrate Thanksgiving today um, as we craft. So I'm gonna flip the camera around here shortly. I am going to give away prizes. Yay! I love prizes. Um, and the way you can get entered to win a prize is by sharing this video. So share this video on your wall, share it with your friends, share it everywhere, and you'll be entered to win a card kit from me. So I've got one card kit left for the beautiful pocket card that I've been showing in my lives. Um, actually, this gorgeous pocket card, I've got one kit left. That's what I'm giving away as my prize. And I am going to give it away next week, Thursday. So those of you who are watching the replay, um, who had you know family festivities and stuff and could not make it live, you can also be entered into that drawing. So make sure you share the video as well. 
Okay, tonight we are stamping with our November paper pumpkin kit. That's what it looks like. I'll turn on these other lights in a minute here so it's a little bit brighter. Um, I'll open it up and show you in a minute. Before we get going, I just want to remind you that I have my countdown to holiday special going on right now. So when you place a $50 order or more with me, I will send you a free embellishment and a free PDF tutorial for 10 gorgeous holiday cards. To qualify for that, you need to use my host code that's listed on the bottom there, uh, V-N-Y-Q-B-Q-J-N. And when we stamp, it'll be up here too. So just a reminder of that. And since we're stamping with paper pumpkin, um, you can use this host code when you buy one of our prepaid paper pumpkin subscriptions which, by the way, makes a wonderful Christmas gift for those who are crafty and enjoy paper crafting. Um, I've got the pricing here for you. A three-month subscription would qualify you for my countdown to holiday special. Um, and then you also can save. Um, you can buy it month to month for 21 bucks a month. But if you buy a six-month, uh, you save a dollar per month. And if you buy a 12-month subscription, then you get one a month for free. So all of that is super exciting. I have two fabulous alternative projects to show you tonight. And I also put together one of the projects from the kit. So I'm really, really, really excited for you to see what I've got going. Let's start stamping. <laughs> Let me get my lights on here so you guys can see better. I think that's good. Bright enough for everybody you can see, okay? So, the cool thing about Paper Pumpkin that I love is that there's not a lot of work to this kit. Um, I like to take this camping with me because everything's done. Uh, I literally can just take this box, a couple of blocks I'll toss in, and Sometimes I'll throw in some extra ink pads, but I actually took the ink pad out of here. Let me show you. Um, they also come with an ink spot right in the kit. So we're going to open this up. <laughs> Jean says you had to watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That is such a funny movie. I love it. Oh, Sarah, it sounds like you had such a wonderful Thanksgiving um, and you're going to decorate for Christmas tomorrow. I'm going to see if I can talk John into going and getting our Christmas tree tomorrow or Saturday. I am so excited to put our tree up this year. <clears throat> so um, the kit comes with everything you need to make um, a, a number of projects. Sometimes it's cards. This month, it's a gorgeous gingerbread house kit. And you can use the products in here to make some gift card holders. So each kit you get comes with uh, its own stamp set. And the cool thing about this is that it helps you to um, kind of add to your stamp collection. You can use these stamps for all sorts of things. This particular one has a number of sentiments. And joy, with love, happy holidays more merry wishing you a jolly christmas a sweet treat for you to and from if you want to turn these into gift tags um and even though this particular kit is a um, kind of christmas orientated with some christmas sentiments there's plenty in here that you could use all year round um, in your kind of stamp and arsenal you also get all of the adhesive and everything else you need to create your projects. So this particular one comes with some really adorable kind of candy stickers here. We've got some dimensionals and some glue uh, dots or glue, glue spots. And then we have some tear and tape here. So for those of you um, who love to make other projects, this is also super useful for our stash. I don't I think there's a lot of times I can get by on um, the dimensionals in the kit for quite some time. Um, okay, so this month's kit 
uh, is full of these adorable gingerbread house. Um, I'll call them envelopes or card holders. These are all scored already so that when we go to put them together, um, they're all ready to go for us. So um, this also tells me here on this sheet, what was in here, the colors that coordinate. So you can go to your stash to find coordinating colors really easy. This particular kit coordinates with cinnamon cider, which is my favorite in color right now, you guys. Daffodil Delight, Calypso Coral, Mint Macaron, Shaded Spruce, uh, Blushing Bride, and Whisper White. Um, that's interesting because I totally thought that it was just jade and not mint macaron. So I've actually used just jade in a number of my projects. That's all right. Um, okay, and then these are going to be layered. So you have all of these pieces to layer them. And what I love about it is you don't have to die cut anything. They're already punched out. So when you want to use these pieces, you just pop them out and um, put together your project. Same thing with our tags for our sentiments or our banners. And if you don't like the colors, you can always flip them over and use the other side. Um, you also get an ink spot I mentioned. So uh, you don't even need to bring your ink if you're traveling or going somewhere to put this together because you have an ink spot with it. And then you get, um, instructions for how to put this all together. Step-by-step -step instructions. And then Paper Pumpkin also will post a video to show you how to do it. Now, of this month's kit, I already, I'm just gonna put some of this stuff back in here so that we have a clean, organized space. We know how I love that. So I took a few minutes this afternoon and I um, already put one of these projects together. So this is a gift card holder and I just glued the stuff together. I stamped on this front piece, popped it up with dimensionals. This little, um, what is this called? This is from the Forever Greenery pack, but this little twine is not part of the project. I actually added that and I'll explain to you why in a minute here. Um, and then you can just slip your gift card in there just like that. You get matching envelopes and you can pop them in there. Now, as I got was putting this together, I got to thinking how neat it would be to um, make this project as a little gift card holder and put some twine on it so that you could hang it up as an ornament on a Christmas tree. So I actually have, I guess, one alternative here for you right now. Just by adding some twine or ribbon, you could easily make this into something you could hang on a Christmas tree. And once the gift card is out, it still could be used as an ornament, you know, every year as long as this stays sturdy and it's pretty thick, um, so it should stay sturdy. So that's the adorable project that comes in the kit. And the cool thing is, of course, it, the fun doesn't have to stop there. So I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to show you some alternative ideas for using these products. Let me get my stuff out of the way here. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you, I'm really excited, um, is an easel card. And it's been a really long time since I made an easel card, so I'm really excited uh, with how this came together as I was practicing. Sorry if you can hear my dog scratching in the background. She just popped in here to join me. So let me look at my comments, make sure I've caught up. Oh, Jean usually goes to her paper pumpkin stamps first to look for sentiments. That is a great idea because I have found the sentiments in the paper pumpkin kits are very, very versatile. 
So often, um, if I'm looking for a sentiment, it's right there, all ready to go. Um, very kind of neutral. You can use it for a lot of different stuff. All right, we are starting with a card base of Calypso Coral. I decided to go with Calypso Coral because remember, it listed all the colors here that coordinated with this kit. So this piece, I've got my notes over here so I remember the size. Um, this piece is cut to five and a half by eight and a half. And um, you don't usually need to score this card when you are, or score these cards when you are doing it this way because of the, how the grain of the paper goes. But because this is a fun fold, I did score it at four and a quarter. And then I also scored it at two and one eighth. Now, if you are not dotting these measurements down, don't worry because I will post all of them in the replay on my blog and I will work on getting that uploaded by the end of next week. All right, so we're gonna take our bone folder and fold those edges and get them nice and crisp. So what we've got here is a card that can open like this. All right. Hi, Rhonda, gobble, gobble right back at you. Um, okay, the next thing we need is a piece of Calypso Coral. Uh, and this one is five and a half by four and a quarter. We also have a piece of Just Jade. This is five, uh, five and a quarter by four. And then we've got a couple of strip layers here. This one is two inches by five and a quarter. Um, the cinnamon cider one here is one and three quarters by five. And then a whisper white one here is one and five eighths by four and seven eighths. So this one is just one eighth of an inch smaller than the cinnamon cider piece. Okay. We are also going to be using one of our envelopes from the kit and one of our houses from the kit. Let me see what one I like best here. I think this one is really cute with the little um, roof on it. And then we're gonna need some of our candy stickers. And we're gonna use some of our um, some of our house fronts. So I'm just going to pop out. I like this one with kind of the candy cane around the door. So I'm going to pop that out. See how easy this comes together. You know, one of the things that I love to do on Thanksgiving is reflect on some things I'm grateful for. 2020 has been a really difficult year for a lot of us, but I still think there are so many things we can find um, to be thankful for. So I would love, as we craft together and connect, I would love to hear from you guys, what are you thankful for this year? What are you most thankful for? As I'm doing some cutting here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off this tab and I'm gonna cut off this other side of the house here. So I'm just gonna line this up in my paper trimmer and cut this off. What are you most thankful for this year? I would love to hear from you. Okay. Now, I'm gonna grab my Just Jade. And these are photopolymer stamps always in our paper pumpkin kit. So I always wanna use something with a little cushion behind it to make sure that I get a nice stamped image that isn't bald in spots. 
And what I'm doing is I'm mounting this little, I don't know, filigree type thing on one of my blocks. And then I'm also going to do this uh, one that is an arch. Jean is thankful for family, especially her six grandkids. Her grandkids are very healthy. I'm so happy to hear that, Jean. That is a wonderful thing to be thankful for. Okay. Ooh, inky fingers. I don't wanna mess up my project here, so let me grab a baby wipe. Cause I just, I just shoved my finger right into my ink and I don't want it to get everywhere. So I'm just gonna wipe that off. Hi, Marie. Thank you for joining me. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Thankful for your fam and the health and safety and also for a new precious seven month old granddaughter. That is so exciting to have a new baby in the family. My um, sister has a little um, two daughters and a son. So I've got a niece who is three going on four. I'm just stamping this up above and I stamped off by the way. Um, and I have twins um, in the family, a niece and a nephew, and they are going on two years old. And um, I've gotten to see them a few times this year, but not as much as I would like. So I'm looking forward to getting back to normal to spend more time with them. But I'm very grateful for their health and that they are in my life and that my sister had adorable kids. I love it. All right, so I just, ooh, my video, my picture looks really pixelated. Is it bad on your end? Oh, there, okay. There we go. Thankful for my family and good friends. Yes, Sarah, that is so, so much to be thankful for these days. That is for sure. Oh, you did FaceTime today, Marie. That's awesome. You know, I wasn't sure uh, what my day would bring today with stamping. So I did FaceTime with my niece last night. And um, she's just the cutest thing. And when she is ready for bed. She gets a little stir crazy, but it is so entertaining to talk with her then. I just love it. All right, I'm gonna pop this up on dimensionals here. So there. I actually was thinking um, my, my niece's name is Clara and Clara loves to play charades. So I thought during this holiday season, it would be really fun to have some game nights and play charades over FaceTime together. I think she would just love that. Okay, we're just gonna put this layer on here. Like so, and we are um, setting this aside for a minute. <clears throat> Okay, hey, I noticed that this envelope has some really pretty patterned paper and I also like the front of it. So I wanna use this in my card. All right, so Leslie, that is a great question. Leslie asked, are all of the photo, are all of the stamps now photopolymer with Stampin' Up? No, actually they're not. There are still red rubber stamps. Let me find them here. But we have um, improved the stickiness of them, and they are now cling stamps, so they stick to your block better. But this is a set that's in the holiday catalog right now, Leslie, and this is red rubber, as you can see. So not all photopolymer. A lot of the really detailed stamps um, are still red rubber. So, okay, I'm going to cut down this piece this little envelope that was in here. So I can use this on my card. And what I'm doing right now is just lining up the seams of my envelope with my little groove here that my trimmer, my paper trimmer blade goes into. 
And then I just throw those scraps away and I don't need the back piece of this either. I also love photopolymers so I can see where I'm stepping. Um, they're awesome. All right, we are going to start putting our card together. And I'm going to start adhering. So I've got my seal. I'm going to put my just jade layer onto my Calypso coral here and center that. When I center this, I pay attention to the three sides around the side closest to me. And if those are all about the same width, then I know I've got my layer centered. All right. And now I'm going to take, yep, I'm going to take the front of this envelope and I'm going to glue it down to the front of this layer. Like so. Ooh. I did not mean for that to go down yet because I still wanted to try and place it. And this does not need to be perfectly centered. There we go. And then I'm going to stick this gingerbread house on here and I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals as well. So we've got a unique way to use this little envelope. There we go. I was live the other night and Leslie was making her Christmas cards. I'm curious, Leslie, did you Finish them. How far did you get? Do you have a long way to go? All right. How do you like that so far? Marie says, I like where you're going with this. Thank you. Okay. Now we need to do a little stamping for our sentiment. Um, let's see, what do we think? I think I like wishing you a jolly Christmas. I'm going to try my best to center this. Ah. You know how that goes, right? Let me just practice. Okay. Hey, that's actually pretty good. I like it. And now we're going to put some layers together. Make sure this is good and dry. Find my adhesive. I lose my stuff easily. You inspired me to stamp my envelopes last night. Awesome. We're stamping our envelope today, too. It usually adds the perfect touch. I think it looks really cute when you get it in the mail. I also have been known to put some designer series paper on the envelope flap when I've got scraps of that left over. Okay, so we're adhering our Whisper White to our Cinnamon Cider, and now we're going to adhere these layers to our Just Jade. Now, I just want to clarify that Just Jade is actually not the color of the kind of green tone in, oops, in this stamp set. Well, what the heck happened? My tape roller got off filter there. It's mint macaron, but 
I used just Jade. Okay. I have a long way to go on the cards. Ooh, 130 left to go. Man, you, that is a labor of love. I tell you what, when you are making that many cards, for sure. Okay, now we are going to adhere this layer, but I'm gonna pop this up on dimensionals. A lot of the easel cards I have seen um, actually go the other way. So I was excited to do one this direction. Okay, I'm putting that in the center, I hope. And I just put it upside down. <laughs> All of a sudden I look and the word is not right side up. No problem. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to adhere my card front now and um, I don't want to put glue on the whole card front so I'm actually going to just glue this flap. I love our stamp and seal so wonderful so quiet it rolls on so smooth I just absolutely love it. Now I am going to push it all the way to the edge and make sure that it's flush There we go. You can see how this is coming together now with our easel. Isn't that adorable so far? Okay, but we're not done. I wanna put some of these candies on here. So I'm just gonna put one in the center, two, and three. And here we have our easel card. Now it's kind of hard for you guys to see at this angle. So I will flip it up. Isn't that adorable? Came together pretty darn quickly. And we only used stuff in our kit other than some extra cardstock. So what do you think of my first project? Pretty simple, huh? Now, the other thing you could do is um, you could potentially skip this layer and just put the house directly on your fold and do some decorating that way. But there's our first alternative project for the night. And um, the good thing is it folds right up and it will still stick in an envelope. I'm going to show you because a lot of people won't believe me with all these dimensionals. It might be a little bit extra postage to ship because it's thick, but nothing that isn't worth it, right? And sometimes these thick cards are just nice to hand to someone. All right. We got to stamp our envelope, you guys. So I'm going to go on my flap here with my heart. I'm going to stamp here. Cute. And I'm going to bring it in from the side. On the front. So there we have our first project for the night. You can stick that up on your shelf and show it off. Your uh, recipient gets a matching card when you send it in the mail. Cute. All right. <clears throat> Let's get my mess cleaned up so we can start on our second card. Now my second card, I did use just a little bit of extra product, not a lot. 
but I love how it turned out. I'm super excited for this one. Uh, I'm going to move these somewhere that I don't lose them. Okay, so what are you guys drinking tonight? Some people on Thanksgiving are having their eggnog or maybe a brandy old fashioned. I have some berry tea this evening. I um, love, love, love me some tea, especially with um, some honey in it. So, you know what? I think I need this still. So, let's get our next project going. <clears throat> Whew, gonna take a minute for a drink here. I had a lot of fun playing around, coming up with ideas to put together for you guys tonight. Okay, so for this card, I'm going to use I'm going to use this one with the yellow door. I like that one. And I'm going to use the yellow punch there. And we're going to use this one with all the candies around it and the heart up top. So I'll punch that out right away. Set this here. All right. Let's see. I got to get my bearings. What am I missing? Okay. So for, oops, I got two of them here, no big deal. <clears throat> for this card, we've got a few layers going on again. I have Just Jade, I'm using Just Jade again. This is actually the card I made first as I was playing around that made me realize how much I love the Just Jade color. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, but we're using a piece of Just Jade and this is five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. I've got another piece of Just Jade that's five and a quarter, or sorry, four by five and a quarter. A piece of cinnamon cider that's four by five and a quarter. This will be for the inside of our card. And a piece of Whisper White that's three and three quarters by five. I'm going to get the inside stamping done first. Um, and I think for this one, I'm going to do with love on the inside. So we'll get this mounted. There we go. With love. <clears throat> you know, when I didn't have anywhere to go for Thanksgiving, I totally thought that it was going to be all a bust because I love me some stuffing and mashed potatoes and gravy. And I was so happy. Ooh, that turned out really awesome. I was so happy to find somewhere open that I could do carry out. And let me tell you, their stuffing was pretty good. But uh, my very, my very, very favorite dish for Thanksgiving is my sister's cornbread stuffing. She makes the best cornbread stuffing ever. It tastes so, so, so good. I missed it this year. Um, Oh, by the way, I'm using this filigree with a heart, um, and I'm going to stamp this in cinnamon cider. Um, what's your favorite 
Thanksgiving dish. And um, are you turkey people? Are you ham people? What do you like? Um, I don't really care all that much for turkey, but tonight the place I got it from was really good. I mean, I like turkey, but I'm not like crazy about it. I really love ham, so that's good. All right, so here's how I stamped the inside. I did those kind of heart filigrees above and below and the word with love in the middle. <laughs> My dog right now is uh, dreaming of chasing something. So if you guys can hear her in the background, that's what's going on. She sounds so funny. <laughs> oh, it makes me laugh. All right, we are going to adhere our layers together and then put our inside in the card. So the other thing, oh, Leslie's a ham girl. I love ham. Uh, my father-in-law makes delicious ham. I don't know if you're watching Charlene, but we miss your ham. Um, he smokes it on the smoker and it is so, so, so good. Um, and then last year for Christmas, my husband smoked a ham on the grill for a long time. And then we put it in like a Nesco roaster and um, oh, it was so yummy. Everyone just raved about it. I love ham gravy the best. Um, but anyway, my sister's cornbread stuffing is my very favorite Thanksgiving dish. I didn't get to have it this year. The other thing I love that I haven't had this year is cranberry pie. I love me some cranberry pie. Um, I'm always happy every year when Sprite and Sierra Mist come out with their cranberry sodas because I love cranberry. Oh, Sarah says Lila is dreaming right now and barking. I know that is so, so funny when our dogs do that. Um, Scout like kind of half barks in her sleep. Oh, it makes me laugh. So there's the inside of our card. And I just want to stop for a minute and show you that that would also make a beautiful outside of a card, by the way. But anyway, so that's the inside of our card. And now we're going to do a little embossing. So when I saw that this was a gingerbread house, I got to thinking about houses and um, Christmas time. And when I think of Christmas and the North Pole, I think of these beautiful brick houses. So I'm going to do some embossing with our brick and mortar um, embossing folder. And um, this is our new, so to get a nice straight image, these new embossing folders, they have a line here. So I'm going to line up the edge of my card with this line, my, the edge of my cardstock with this line on the inside of my folder. And I don't have the new embossing machine yet. I still have the Big Shot. And I've, to be honest with you, struggled a little bit with... Um, some of these embossing folders and getting just the right layer here. And what I found is, for those of you who still have the Big Shot, if you have a magnetic platform, I can put these regular embossing folders through with the sandwich plate on top. And it's like the perfect thickness to roll through the machine. So that's my trick for those of you who are still crafting with your big shot. I'm going to be buying the um, stamp and cut and emboss machine, but I don't have it yet. So uh, this actually, when I was making this project, was my first time using this embossing folder. And it is beautiful. I think it's my favorite one. You can see some of the bricks are kind of popped out there. It's amazing. Okay, I'm going to adhere this 
to the front of our card. Um, and I'm gonna use Seal Plus because I really want it to stick down well and it's got some nooks and crannies here. You also could use liquid glue, but I have been loving my rollers and the Seal Plus worked really great for this. So if you're not a liquid glue fan, Seal Plus would work wonderful. Oh, I should have done it all along the edge. That's okay. Okay. So now we've got our brick layer adhered to our card base. All right. I am not using the full panel for the house again, so <clears throat> no big deal. I'll just cut off these tabs. And by the way, I'm saving like I'm saving the other half of this house because these um, stamps would be wonderful in like white embossing powder and these are still usable. So I just wanna give you that tip that you're not wasting by cutting half of this off, not by a long shot because there's still plenty we can do with that other half of a house. All right, and just like before, I'm gonna stamp my, pop out this heart and pop out the door. The other thing I noticed is, I thought that this would make a cute like picket fence. So you wanna keep these little pieces too, if that's something that triggers your fancy. Okay, getting my heart filigree again. I'm gonna stamp off so we get a little softer image here. And then the one that goes around the door, and I'm gonna do the same. There we go. Oh, Sarah says I love your nails. They're turkeys. Oh, the light's bad. Here, let me see. I don't know if you can see them really good, but they're turkeys. Um, my friend Trista, she is a Color Street consultant, and I had a party. And, um, of course, I saw those turkey nails, and I had to have them for Thanksgiving. Uh, but, yeah, these things just, um, they stick on. They, like, peel off of the piece you get them on, and then they stick on. So... That's easy for me because I don't like things that take a ton of work. <laughs> and I'm too impatient to let my uh, nail polish dry. <laughs> I wanna have pretty nails for you guys. Um, and I love pretty nails, but I'm too impatient to let it dry <clears throat> because I wanna get to stamping some more. <laughs> and thank you for the compliments here. Marie says, keep your magnetic plate to use with the new one. That is a great tip. <clears throat> yes, I will. And I actually, for when I was doing in-person classes, I have a couple extra plates and an extra big shot or two that um, we would use in my in-person classes. Um, we aren't doing a lot of that these days, but... I am, starting in January, going to be offering classes by mail. So I am really, really excited for that. I cannot wait for you guys to see what I come up with. But yes, I am going to be doing classes by mail. And if you are someone who would love to be part of that, let me know so I can get you on the list and make sure you don't miss out when I roll it out. It's going to be a blast. All right, I'm using this gold twine. Now, this is from the Forever Greenery um, combo pack in the big catalog. Where did I put the other piece? It comes with, um, here we go. It comes with this like very vanilla kind of burlap looking stuff. 
Um, so I'm using the gold from that. In case you're wondering where the heck that twine came from. And what I did was I folded uh, the twine in half and then it makes this loop and I pull the other end through and then it kind of secures it on the card like this. So pretty easy. And then what I'm going to do here is turn this into a bow. The thing that I love about this metal twine is how the bow holds its shape so nicely. I really love that. Um, same thing with our braided linen trim. It really holds shape really nice. Okay. Cut off the ends here. Okay. <clears throat> Now we, oh, we have a little more stamping to do yet. I'm going to grab my Calypso Coral because that is the color. Oh, I need a new ink pad. That's the color that coordinates here. And I need the Happy Holidays. So. Stamp. I'm going to stamp that in the center here. There we go. Now we're going to start putting this all together. So let me get my dimensionals. Pop this up. I can't wait to see the dogs react to John coming home early. They've really, really missed him. I had such a nice Thanksgiving surprise to know that he's going to be home tonight. All right. I'm going to kind of add here this on our card front at an angle like this. Are you seeing it come together now? And I want this Happy Holidays over the top here, but this layer is on dimensionals and the house is on dimensionals. So we've got double layer of dimensionals going on. So on this end of my tag, I'm going to put two dimensionals on top of each other so that we have even height. And then on this other end, I'm just going to put a little adhesive so that it sticks right to the house. Like so. Oh, cute, cute, cute. And then, and then, and then we're not done. Remember that little heart that we popped out? I tossed it aside and we're going to use it. So I'm going to grab a glue dot here, put it on this heart, and then I'm going to stick this heart right up here above our happy holidays, like so. And we need bling. But where did I put my bling? Here it is. Let's see. It will be good. Do we want shiny bling or pearls? Ooh, these champagne ones would go really good with the yellow. So let's do that. <clears throat> I love this flat one for picking up the as I say that, and then I can't actually pick them up. 
I'm going to take your pick tool. I'm going to put some bling on here. I always like to do this in odd numbers. You will see different demonstrators, I suppose, doing it different ways, but I have found odd numbers are just more pleasing to the eye for me. So let's see, and I think one right here. Not too close to that heart though. Here we go. What do you think? So that is our second project. <clears throat> and just like before, we can stamp on our envelope. It always adds such a nice touch. So let me find my envelope here. And I'll find the ink pad. Thank you, Leslie. Glad that you like it. Now, the other thing I want to mention, you guys, is I will post the link to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin at, um, when I'm done here in the post up above this video, like up above there, you'll see a description. And when you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin with me, I will send you every month a PDF with, uh, I believe it's 12 alternative projects. So you have all sorts of ideas of other things that you can do with your Paper Pumpkin kit. So the fun doesn't stop just with the projects in the kit. You will get more ideas to use um, so you can keep on crafting. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. Okay. So there are our two projects using the paper pumpkin kit. And I love that... Um, I was able to put these together with literally everything in the kit. The only thing I added was cardstock. And then on this one, I added uh, the embossing, the twine, a few blingy embellishments, but you'll have that. So, all right. Well, thank you guys for joining me tonight. Uh, make sure you share the video for a chance at a prize. I'll do that drawing next week, Thursday. So if you're watching the replay, make sure you share and let me know in the comments that you shared so that I can kind of connect who shared and um, <clears throat> with the number of shares that my Facebook tells me. Uh, and then I will announce the winner of that card kit that I put together next Thursday. Um, I'll probably do it in the evening sometime. So. I am so glad that you joined me on this Thanksgiving evening. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. You can find my online store at countrycardsbyrose.blogspot.com. And if you have any questions at all, just shoot me a message on Facebook or pop me an email at countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com. I will be back here tomorrow night stamping with a Black Friday stamping event for um, a home decor piece. So thanks again for joining me. I hope you all have a great evening and I will see you again soon.